Sky TV 4 News at 6 starts now. Good evening, I'm Paula Akana. For the second time this week, the U.S. Coast Guard has coordinated the rescue efforts of mariners in distress at sea. Today, a crew of seven who reported their vessel was listing was found safe 316 miles northwest of the Johnston Atoll. KITV Force Catherine Cruz has the story and more on the efforts of a nearby tanker that came to their aid. Catherine. Well, you know, the initial reports from the Coast Guard indicated there had been some type of fire on board the Honolulu-based longliner, the Golden Eagle II. The crew aboard the longline fishing boat reported to the Coast Guard that it was listing on its port side. The seven men abandoned ship and were out on a life raft when the C-130 spotted them at sea. The Coast Guard radioed for nearby mariners to assist in a Panamanian flagship. The Forestal Diamante answered the call. Six hours after the fishing boat's emergency beacon was triggered, the tanker was there to help. Picked up all seven survivors, uh, transferred them to their vessel, and... Uh, since they are all okay, uh, no medical attention is required, they're going to keep motoring towards their next port of call, which is uh, Japan. Mander Morin couldn't stress the importance of the automatic emergency beacon that the longliner had on board. You didn't have big seas. You had pretty good uh, visibility for the C-130. Um, they were able to track right on that beacon. You know, that beacon sending off a signal, and they have the capability in the aircraft to actually tune into that radio frequency and just hone in. Thanks to the Panamanian vessel who assisted, the Coast Guard was able to make sure the men were safe without expending huge resources in the search and rescue. As for the disabled Golden Eagle II, which is now adrift? The owner did say, indicate that he was deploying another uh, asset of the fishing vessel leaving today. Uh, should be on scene probably Saturday, the, uh, the latest, to uh, effect repairs and try to tow that particular vessel back to home port. And at last check, we were told that the Panamanian tanker will try and drop the seven crew members off in Guam on its way to Japan. So the men should be back in Hawaii soon. Paula? All right. Thanks a lot, Catherine.